Hello everybody. How's everybody doing today? So we're here to talk about uh, relationships in a different type of way. Again, um, we're talking about uh, more than me, myself, and I. Sort of like uh, it's always something on my the spiritual attack. Okay, anyways, we're always talking about um, sort of how the self is very related to your relationships. So we're looking at me, myself, and I as, as something where we're talking about our perspective of who we are. Uh, it's sort of confirming all of relationships. So the I is sort of like a thought process. It's it's who we think we are. It's, it's something that can really never change. The belief systems that make us who we are, the paradigms, a lot of the other stuff in our heads, above our heads, that's really the I. Sometimes we call it the I am. Sometimes we call it the I am that I am, you know. Those, those types of things are, are he will be, we will. Basically, basically, you're putting a reality above your head, basically, but to your thoughts of who you are. And then you have the me. So the me is you, but it's also me and you. But basically, it's everything around you down here. Everything here is basically me and you because it's perspective, how we perceive each other. That's what a me is. So again, these relationships are basically me-based relationships or we-based relationships. You just have to flip the M and the W, basically. You get the me and the we. And then you have the, uh, you have the myself is another uh, form. is where we are balancing the I and the me. It's, it's the we. It's, the, it's pretty much everything in, encompassing myself. So looking at those three states of your being... You have to say that you have the aspects, again, the masculine and the feminine aspects. Uh, for people who are men and women, uh, we're, we're going to look at it as just the, the principal type of, of the creation is the man, the woman, as the, the form where we are saying these are energies for the masculine and the feminine. Because it, even unseen, I'm talking about. Again, on the physical plane, you have the bodies, of course, the bodies for the man and the woman. But the spiritual, mental, the soul level, they... They can go up, they can go high, and you can merge these two energies together and make one whole being. The two shall become one, basically. You can do these with pretty much any of these energies up there and up here, down here. Well, okay, down here again, it's really just the bodies, uh, those uh, those unions. But again, looking at relationships is something that can last for more than one lifetime. Well, I mean, we're, we're seeing this as a marriage is something of a, a contract, if you will. It's a it's a contract here and it's a contract up there. So it's to be taken seriously that we look at, again, these, these uh, husbands, wives. We're looking at these things as these relationships as something, that, again, that are contracts. So even a, 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 these contracts can be broken, but I'm saying a lot of the things are written sometimes even before you're born. So those are the importance of written words. Again, uh, but just to share more about uh, the relationship with you and yourself is basically we're looking at I as a higher aspect of yourself is the I is the again it's who you know you are or who you could be, uh, who you are or he will become I, I will become what I will become it's those types of things of of yourself that that make you you in in pretty much every every space, every place you go, uh, or become you, basically, in any aspect of your character, of your being. So we're also looking at now a me is basically what we are. Me, you are me, I am you is the uh, saying is, is saying is, I can only perceive who you are. I don't really know the I am of you, but I know that you are me. You are a perception of what I perceive you to be, but... You're more than that because, again, we're talking about I am is something that you really are. That's who you are is the I am. Uh, but I am that I am is when you really know, you know, who you are. So, again, this is how you sort of overcome this world in many ways is to know yourself uh, better. But but know yourself in the kingdom of God is, is, the, is more important. I think there is a, there's a space for everybody in these kingdoms, again, because... We're looking at the world again. It's it's the god of this world is is known as uh, uh, Satan or whatever, and pretty much know that 
guy who architected it, Lucifer, had, had some bad intentions. So a lot of this stuff is to make us forget, you know, that we are the shards of light. Pretty much that there's a lot of things. So again, like I said, when I when I usually I bring up the Bible, I bring up the law, things like that. I, I'm not even going to lie to you because a lot of it is really based off of a lot of the principles set by the accuser. The accuser again, we're looking at him, but. Think about the accuser. You're going to go past him eventually with with the blood of the Savior. It's the, uh, it, it's, it's the crossing over from the red to the white. That's the salvation that you receive again because his accusations are really, really problematic. But it's basically this whole world is one big accusation. You know, it's a, it's a pretty much not even just a test. Your entire existence, you being born in the flesh is like a sin. So it's something where you have to say, you know, wow, it's like you like, so it's going to be like that. It's going to be like a trap. So that's the dragon. You're looking at that's the serpent. That's the, uh, I mean, this is the devil we're talking about. We 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 know like even before you sin, you sin, which is ridiculous. But we're also looking at again, you know, child's ba ba children basically entering automatic. So, well, I'm seeing there's. Our relationship between the world around us and the I am, basically. We are who we are, but also to say we could also become who we can become is basically there's a, there is a pull on our lives through these gravitations. I keep bringing it up. The, I, the relationships are like these planets. It's the affinities. It's the attractions. The attractions of these planetary bodies on our bodies is the, it's those types of things that are affecting our lives. So have this affect you less if you know who you are. It's that higher in the Lord, you know, you're pitting the higher against the Lord. We we take, you know, part of a precedence of what's above us because it is sort of the, the law of our of our being basically. We all have our different beings, we all have a different you know, different uh lives if you will but it's just it just matters what your tribe is about what your your life is about and that that's what you're going to find um again well even to go back what i i shared in the passage recently is to say like most people again whether it's a love or life or whatever know that your most high has got you it's basically you know, whatever influences your mind, you know, you, you, there are parasites. You know, Lucifer himself is a parasite. He's a fourth dimensional parasite. Uh, Malik is a fifth dimensional parasite. I'm saying these these beings, again, you know, they may probably make you want to uh, do some reckless things. So, again, if you are even using the Bible, again, to hurt people, do not do it. Because you could, you could use pretty much anything to hurt people. These fists, I mean, pretty much anything can hurt somebody. But I was saying, you know, the intentions you put in, the good intentions, those are going to transmute the energies. I'm saying there's a lot of ways that Lucifer had deceived this world, even using the word of God. He's like, we're looking at, you know, these people, we're talking about the furnace, we're, we're talking about not, not what you mean. But, I mean, even to just explain it, I'm saying, you can find the original word, you can go this, this way, go that way, I'm saying... You know, pray about it. We, we're saying be careful the things that you speak, the words that you speak, because those that's your power. Power of life and death is in the tongue. Again, you could, you could speak a plague into existence. You can end a plague, basically. I'm saying those are the powers that you have to your disposal. You know, yeah? if you have uh, you know, these relationships, you have to build more, pour more into people, you know, verbally, of course. But don't tear down verbally. Even if it, it seems like it's the thing that makes, you know, constructive criticism. I mean, these things I say, I'm saying for me, because, again, you know, I mean, these words have been used a little dangerously because, again, our reality is so sensitive to our words and so sensitive to our vibrations that we can create things that we don't really want to have. So these things I, I keep saying, again, are to say... You know, if you're you're tempting something on somebody's life, I'm I'm just trying to say, be careful. You know, this mainly for my Christian people. Again, we're reading the word. We know what 
it's said to happen, but I'm also saying this, you know, be careful again because of what was set forth in the past, of the things, the martyrships, the wars set forth in the past. So all wars are being set to end very soon. Uh, but it's just following God. I think you just, you know, the repentance is just for the individual. You don't have to just force it on somebody, you know, bring up, you know, something really dangerous. And then, again, because you have to use this very responsibly. Like, like I said, because this is some, it's, people in the wrong hands use this power for the wrong wrong purposes. You know, we're looking at Hitler, you know, he probably thought he was justified throwing people in the furnace. It's like, he's not the son of man, so... It's those types of things. The activity doesn't make you who you are. It's the it's what you got inside because you can you can overcome this illusion, all these parasites, all these interdimensional beings by just being yourself. So that relationship with yourself will affect the relationship with others because you perceive them as different from yourself. But I perceive me as you. You see the, the same things that you commit. When I say I committed to, I didn't commit any of those things. But what happened was, I feel responsible for what you do. You know, if you if you're out to hurt people in any single way, I'm gonna be responsible for that I, as your high priest. You understand? You know, when 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 you had the story of how Satan is pulling the dust with the high priest back and forth, it's even the lot. You have to go through this law. You have to go through hell to get to heaven. Because sometimes this law was because the people had feared so much of their destruction from the demons, or are basically, you know, pretty much dark angels. Pretty much. These, these could be very well dark angels if you're not careful. I'm saying it's the love that you put into everything you do. Every every single activity, every angel you're, you're, care, you're not going to just bring about destruction and, and, and famine because you want to. It's saying that you have the power to, but you're not going to do it. This is the mercy that you must have as a child of God. Because, I, I, again, I see some of you, if you misuse this power, it will be taken from you. So bless the land, you know, I believe that the people will repent. But it's also, I want the spirit to be poured down on all flesh. For all, basically, everyone's going to have this power that I speak of with these angels. When the spirit is poured down on all flesh, your children will dream dreams, they'll prophesy. I mean, so many things are going to happen when the spirit is poured down. But it's going to be the truth. It's not even going to be how you expect it. Because this is, you know, this is the year of Jubilee, or, or next year. But I'm saying, you have to even look to the hills which come with your help. You know, that sun is a shield. We're talking about what Yahweh it really means. It, it means, he it, it really means that it's the, that force that's in the sun. It's the, the source of the light. The light came to being by itself. This is the light, is that sun. But when I say this, I say it very carefully because, again, it also is about who controls the sun. So I'm saying you would want Michael to control. I mean, a lot of things I'm saying might make no sense to you now. But when the spirit of the living God is poured out on all flesh, it's going to make sense. But back to relationships. Be nicer. Be like a little bit nicer. Because, again, your reality, again, shouldn't always look like how you want it to look like. Some of you believe that. If you read a certain thing, you know, it's supposed to go down a certain way. But the idea, what, what, what most had to teach me, it was like, you know, as much as you want to write your own story, or the man wants to write his own story, and the woman wants to read the more of the story, and then she wants the storybook editing, you know, she wants to be the dream girl for the dream guy. But I, the point of it all was that for the man and the woman, you know, what, what God puts together, let no man tear apart. It was those types of things that, it is those types of things still today because... These are the things that really will help build your character to be something um, greater than you ever expected. So a lot of the things are in unfamiliar uh, packages. So don't go looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm trying to say that it's your calling, your destiny is in these, is in the small things you do. It's in the, the building up. It's in the courage. It's in the time you spend by yourself, you know, encouraging yourself because in the Lord, because, well, I mean, even use this word carefully because, again, we know about the... Forget it. I, I won't even bring it up. I, because, again, every time I condemn you, I will act like, you know, we're dragging. Because we're looking at now what the reality around us has done. Sometimes you act a certain way, you're going to act a certain way. If I'm acting this way, it's going to manifest in a certain way. Again, I've pretty much been every single character in the book of Revelation. I'm, I'm not even joking. 
but I'm seeing around me that again things could change if I'm dealing with these situations internally but these are also internal parasites we're talking about these interdimensional beings so we're saying as for me and my house I will serve the creator of heaven and earth but going back to it your relationships with your spouse with your children make it a positive one no matter what happens make it a positive thing do these things and the most high will reward you all right appreciate y'all